Welcome to the Academy of Veterinary Imaging. I am Sonia Gordon. I am a veterinary cardiologist whose home base is Texas A&M University. I also teach uh, routinely for the Academy of Veterinary Imaging. This session is about three important questions a basic echo can answer in cats with murmurs. So the problem with cats with murmurs is I don't know when I listen to a cat based on the location or the, po uh, the point of maximum intensity, for instance, and the loudness of a murmur, whether the cat's heart is gonna look like the one on the top, which is a very abnormal image showing very thick walls. This cat has hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, the top image, or a normal heart. Because um, we know a lot of cats with murmurs actually do have normal hearts. So ultimately, given I don't know based on listening, and I know that other routine diagnostic tests like radiographs are disappointing when it comes to assessing heart size in cats in particular, coupled with the fact that the first presentation for a cat with heart disease typically isn't a mild presentation. They come in with respiratory distress that never seems to be subtle, um, or they come in with a saddle thrombus. So, so no pun intended, but the first event for a cat with important heart disease can be catastrophic. So it means that we can't ignore cats with murmurs. So what can a basic echo tell us? Well, if I had one image in a cat, and it was this is actually uh, taken from the right side of a cat, and it's called the inflow-outflow image, and it allows me to visualize the left atrium and the aorta side by side. It lets me see the left ventricle free wall and the septum and the size of the lumen. It also allows me to see the motion of the mitral valve here. And, and so ultimately, if I know how to look at this image, and this is the only image I had f for a cat with a murmur, this would be very important information because I know from this image, the left atrium subjectively is not enlarged compared to the aorta. The walls don't look too thick. The ventricle's moving well. Structurally, this heart looks normal to me. We can actually freeze this image, and that's the one down here on the left, and actually start to measure things on this image, like the septum and the free wall and the aorta compared to the left atrium. So, so a fast scan and a basic scan could be this, this quick. I'm gonna give you a few more pointers, but, but ultimately uh, knowing about the structure of a cat's heart can help us know if a dyspneic cat is likely to be in heart failure or be dyspneic for another cause, or if that cat with a murmur that's asymptomatic is likely to develop heart failure or a saddle thrombus in the near future. So there are three important questions an echo can help us answer. And it turns out that regardless of the disease we're talking about in cats, left atrial size is a very important report card. Left atrial size increases the more severe the left ventricular disease is, and with one exception, arrhythmogenic right ventricular cardiomyopathy, all feline cardiomyopathies ultimately lead to left atrial enlargement. And the bigger their left atrium gets, the more likely they are to, for instance, go into heart failure or develop a thrombus. The other thing we can easily see with an echo is the morphology and function of the left ventricle. So now not only can I see globally how is the heart handling the disease, aka how big is the left atrium, I can also look at the left ventricle and start to have an understanding of what cardiomyopathy is present. And that is also relevant with respect to treatment strategies. I also know that cats with big left atriums in particular have a high risk for developing a thrombus. And there are ways using echo that we can actually look for a thrombus or markers for high risk for a thrombus. So the first marker for high risk of a saddle thrombus is actually a big left atrium and being a cat. The next risk is having spontaneous contrast, particularly in the left oracle. And we also know that seeing evidence of an adherent thrombus in the left oracle or finding a thrombus in the heart is ominous or prognostic for a saddle thrombus. So echo allows us to see that as well.